And now for the thrilling Lightning Jim adventure, Union Pacific. Back to the thrilling days of the Old West. At Deer Pass, a railroad crew of track layers and graders was pushing its way slowly westward across the open plains. Another mile and you're full for the day. Yay! Now keep up the good work and we'll show them Chinamen on the Central Pacific what it takes to build a railroad. Sure. Come on now and lay your way taking them hammers. Come on! Come on there, Red. Take up that hammer and get to work. Now fast. All right, all right. Keep your shirt on, Tim. Sure, and I'll keep my shirt on. But if I catch you and your partner loafing again, I'll be firing the both of you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And you, Zeke? Yeah, sure, I'm going. Then be off with you. I've no time for loafers on this job. Come on, laddies, out to work now. Get to work. Oh, drill, my paddy, drill. Drill, you carrier, drill. Oh, it work all day. So sugar in your pay. Hostile Indians of the far west were a constant menace to the sturdy pioneers who helped to build the first railroad across the open plains. It was a historic period when two great railroads began their race across the continent, one of the greatest engineering projects in history. Two groups of men representing the Central Pacific and the Union Pacific Railroad started from opposite directions across plains, mountains, and deserts in a great race against time. Assisting the government troopers and local peace officers to maintain and establish law and order in those pioneer days were the fearless and courageous United States Marshals. Those thrilling times come back to us now in the exciting Lightning Jim adventures. We join Lightning Jim, his deputy, Whitey Larson, their young friend, Johnny Carson, and Whitey's dog as they move along a trail near the railroad camp. Whoa, thunder. Oh, 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 boy. Well, boys, there's a railroad camp down there below us. Sure, Lightning. Well, what you think of it, Yanni? Yeah. Look, there comes Fire Horse. Fire Horse. Why, Yanni, that's a train Indian. Indians say that Fire Horse. Oh, no, no, listen, Yanni. You ain't Little Bear no more, you know. You are Yanni Corson. You ain't no Indian. Now, yes, because you live with the Redskins for a while, there's eh, no reason why you got to keep on talking like them, eh, you see. Yes, me understand. But me want to ride on Fire Horse. <laughs> Ain't no use, Whitey. Besides, I don't reckon there's much harm in calling an engine a Fire Horse no how. <coughs> oh, Blackie, Blackie, come here, you little <coughs> rascal. Oh, oh that's a <coughs> good dog. Say, by the way, Whitey, do you finally decide on a permanent name for your dog? Oh, yeah, sure. I had plenty of trouble to make it up my mind to tell you. Well, I gave you a good name. Well, uh, you wanted to call her Deputy. Yeah. What was the name you had, Johnny? Me wanted to call her Brave. Yeah, that's a good name, too. Well, that weren't so bad, you know. But uh, <laughs> all the boys and girls in our special resource was the ones that helped me, though. I asked them uh, to vote on the name they liked the best. Uh-huh. And so when I counted all the votes, the, why, the name they thought the best is the same one I wanted. From now on, the dog's name is Black. <laughs> well, 
He's a dark-colored dog, and I reckon Blackie suits are pretty good. What do you think, John? Yes, that good name, too. Yeah, and it goes with your name, too, Whitey. You know, well, that's what I keep on seeing. You got your horse, Thunder, and, and that makes Thunder and Lightning. And I got Blackie, and that makes my skin black. <laughs> <laughs> Looks oh. like she agrees with you, Whitey. Oh, oh she's <laughs> smart dog, I tell you. <laughs> See? We're all stopped down there. Yeah, let's move on down where we can get a better look. Come on, Thunder. Get up, boy. Get up. I'm glad you bring me along to see Fireheart. Well, I kind of figured you'd be interested, Johnny. Of course, you've seen a few railroad trains, but this one's more important. Why? Well, Johnny, them men down yonder are building the Union Pacific Railroad. And when it's finished, son, folks will be able to get on a train and ride clear out to California. California? Where's that? Oh, way, way out west, where the sun sets. That's plenty long way for Fireheart to go. Sure, yeah. Johnny, for, for the last time, I tell you, that's not the Firehorse. Me thinks so. Come oh. on, you two. Stop arguing. Let's get a move on us. Come on. <laughs> Back to camp, I got some important business to talk over with you. And what kind of business, Red? How'd you like to join up with me to make some money? Sure. What do you got on your mind? Well, it's like this. Hey, it... you two? Hey, Tim. Yeah. Red, a while ago, I was after telling you that I'd fire you the next time I caught you loafing. Who says we was loafing? I do. And I'm saying that you're both fired here and now. In all me born days, I never seen two lazier loafs than the two of you. Now get. Sure. Sure, we'll clean out of here, Tim. But not before I've had my say. So me and Zeke is lazy louts, huh? That's what I said. Now what are you going to do about it? I'll show you what I'm going to do. Now take it. Oh, so it's a fight you want. But how do you like this? Hold on there. Hold on. Drop that club and reach for the sky. Quick! <laughs> sure. Don't shoot me, sir. Here's preservers. With lightning, Jim. Got it, Tim. This jasper was aiming to clout you on the back of the head with that club. Zeke, you're a dirty, sneaking coward. And I've got a good notion to give you the passion of your life. Uh, no, I'll take it easy, Tim. Uh, I was only fooling. I, I wasn't going to hit you. You're a liar, and you know it. Now get up on your feet, Red. You're a brave man, Tim. A brave man, when you got a law badge to protect you. Red, I am giving you and Zeke just five minutes to clear out of this roadbed. And if I lay eyes on you again, I'll break every bone in your body. Yeah, come on, Red, let's go. Yeah, all right, we'll be leaving, Tim. But we'll be meeting up again. Sure, and it will be the worst for you if you do. All right, boys, come on. All Get right. back on the job now. Hustle all up. Right. Get back to work now. Go ahead now. Girlish lightning, I'd like to give them both a good punch in the nose. Never mind now, why do you keep out of it? Well, any you could ever hit the man behind his back, he's got the punch in the nose coming. I sure may agree with you on that, Whitey. There isn't his rats like them that make me hair turn gray. <laughs> Still looks plenty red to me, Tim. Red hair and a red temper. <laughs> sure, you're right, lightning. Ah, oh, me temper be the death of me yet. But now tell me. What are you boys doing up here again? Oh, just thought we'd mosey around, see how you was coming along building this railroad. Seems like you're moving along pretty fast, Tim. Uh, sure, and we are that. We've been breaking all records for day and track. Is that so? Mm-hmm. It's a funny thing, you know. But most of the workers on the Union Pacific is Irishmen like myself. Yeah. And most of the workers on the Central Pacific, <laughs> they're Chinamen. <laughs> China, man. So it's <laughs> Ireland against China, huh? <laughs> all right. Ah, uh, sure, and who's the fine little lad you got there with you? Jim, I want you to meet up with a good friend of ours. This is Johnny Carr. Well, hello, my lad. How are you? What? Me want to ride on fire horse. A fire horse? Fire horse. <laughs> Satan, you talk like a redskin. Hey, yo, I am. He used to live with the redskin. Oh, uh, well, sure, he don't look like one. No, Tim, he's a white boy, all right. But you see, when he was a baby, he was captured by Chief Wolfpaw. Wolfpaw? Yeah. You mean that murdering redskin chief? I sure do. Johnny lived with Wolf Paws Braves for quite a spell, didn't you, Johnny? 
And Whitey and me and the troopers at Fort Anderson got after Wolf Paw and rescued Johnny. Took him back to Fort Anderson and found his real mother and father. Your hair's name used to be Little Bear, but not as Johnny Carson. Uh, sure, and if I'd heard that story from anybody else, I'd say it was the biggest lie ever invented. <laughs> well, it's true, Tim, every word of it. Well, no. If you're looking for Wolf Paw, you sure have come to the right place. What's that? Lightning. We've been having the devil's on time with these redskins. That's so. They attacked our workers and trains and run off with our supplies. And lately, we've been having trouble with a new band of them red devils. And they tell me it's Chief Wolf Paw. Don't be demon, it's why we ain't seen Chief Wolf Paw for a long time now. Wolf Paw, funny bad Indian. Ah, sure, you're right about that, my son. Well, Lightning, uh, we come up here to see them build the real roads. But maybe we get the chance to catch Wolf Paw. Oh, well, boys... That's the work train going back to our camp at Deer Pass. How far is the camp from here, Tim? It's about five miles. Now, if you want to ride back with us, I can put your horses on the cab. We want to go. All right, then, Johnny. You go along with Tim on the train. Whitey and me will follow you in. Ah! <coughs> sure, is that your pup, Johnny? No, that's my dog, Tim. Her name is Blackie. <coughs> Come here, Blackie. Uh, well, <laughs> from the looks of her, I say she's a fine dog, Whitey. Yo, hey, Blackie, you, you go with Yanni on the train, and I'll see you later. <coughs> well, we'll be in the camp, Lightning. Come on, son. Hey, Lightning, uh, why don't we go on the train, too? Oh, Whitey, we can learn more about the country along the road, bed riding the horses. Let's go, Thunder. Get up, boy. How do you like riding on a real fire horse? So funny fast. Uh-huh, sure, you'd better hold on to that dog, son. Or first thing you know, he'll be jumping off in the train. He was black and funny good. He don't like so much noise. Say, look who's riding up at the train with the, with the road bed. It's lightning in white. Ah, uh, sure, and it is. And it looks like they're running the race without train. Look at that black horse of lightning go with you. Thunder funny fast horse. I sure. See? Thunder goes faster than fire horse. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'd sure like to hear old Baldy yell when he finds out we stole two of the horses from the team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Tim was aiming to make us walk back to the camp, but that's where he got fooled. Well, if it hadn't been for them law badges, I'd have sure got him. Yeah. And that law badge was Lightning Jim. Yeah? I reckon Wolfpaw would be mighty pleased to know that Lightning Jim is up here. Yeah, what do you mean? Well, him and the troopers have been on Wolf Paw's trail. If there's one hombre that Wolf Paw hates, well, it's Lightning Jim. Oh. Uh, say, uh, what's this business you was going to tell me about, Red? Well, Zeke, I've been making some extra cash selling guns to the Redskins. I figured maybe you might want to join up with me. Hmm. Uh, mighty risky, ain't it? <laughs> sure. I've been getting away with it. Wolf Paw needs guns. And he's got plenty of gold dust. Uh, holy smoke, Red. Look, it's Redskins. Wolf Paw. Oh. 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 Ah, it's Wolf Paw. A jumping Jehoshaphat. Them Redskins is all decked out in war paint. Yeah. Oh. Howdy, Chief. What you do here? I was just going back to camp. You have more gun for Wolf Paw? No, not now, Chief. But I'll get some. Wolf Paw want more guns soon. Sure. Uh, listen, Chief. I got some good news for you. Huh. Your old friend, Lightning Jim, is here. Lightning Jim? Yeah. Him and his deputies back there with the crow. Well, Paul, kill Lightning Jim. Hey, Red. What? Look down below us on the other side of the roadbed by them cottonwoods. Yeah, there's two riders. A congregation, it's Lightning Jim. Yeah, sure. Well, Chief, you wanted to get Lightning Jim? Huh? There he is down yonder heading for Deer Pass. What, Cheetah? Well, Paul, get Lightning Jim now. 
Looks like the marshal's due for a little trouble. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, this will even our score with the law badges. And then we can take care of Tim. <laughs> <laughs> And this is a uh, pretty well country to here. That's right, Whitey. Them railroad men certainly got a tough job pushing the railroad through a real wilderness. But it's men like that that's helping to build this country, Whitey. You are I think a deputy marshal is better off than them fellas working for the railroads. Oh, it's under four. Oh, boy. Yeah. Hey, what's the trouble? Look across the road, Beth. Up of them boulders. You can hear me, Redskins. Come on, Whitey. We've got to make a run for it to the railroad camp. Let's go, Thunder. Get him, get him. Oh, oh. Chief Wolf Paw capture Lightning Jim and Whitey. You'll hear the thrilling climax of this Lightning Jim adventure in part two, which follows immediately. And now for part two of the Lightning Jim adventure, Union Pacific. Oh, 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 oh. Come here, Blackie. Oh. Come here. What's oh. the trouble, son? Blackie barked at fire horse. I still need to get used to the noise of an engine. Soon enough. Look, Lightning Jim and Whitey come. Good thing I'm coming home. Oh, Thunder. Oh, oh, boy. Tim. Indians. Indians? Yeah. They see you, Lightning? They chase you? Yeah. Chase us to the head of the path. How oh, the Saints preserve us? How many were there? Oh, about 50, I reckon. Yeah, there were much more than 50. Oh, we got to do something, Lightning. The graders are still out on the roadbed. We've got a supply train out. And if that wolf saw, he'd be attacking sure. Yeah. Tim, I got an idea. Well, sure, now let's have it. Quick. You got an engine and two cars hitched up here, ain't you? Ah, that's right. Got any dynamite? Ah, sure, we got plenty of it. All right. We load the dynamite on the cars and run the train out through the pass. Ah, sure, but what good? that do? Just this. When we get the train out in the clear, I figure we might be able to get Wolfball to attack. Sure, yes. Then we can set a fuse to the dynamite, unlock the cars, and run the engine back here. Sure. The Redskins will think of the supplies are on it, and if we're lucky, the dynamite will blow them to the happy hunting ground. I'm sure it's a board plan. And that's what we need right now. What do you say, Tim? All right, right, then. Come on, let's get that dynamite. All Quick! Right. Zeke. Yeah? Those Jaspers are loading supplies on that train. Yeah. They're going out to the graders, working on the roadbed. Yeah. Zeke. Yeah? I got a hunch that engine's going to help us get even with Tim. <laughs> We got plenty of steam. Good. One more load of dynamite, and we'll be ready to pull out. I sure may hope your idea works, Lightning. Well, Wolf Pawn, his redskins are out there at the mouth of the pass right now. 
I figured if he sees this train come out, he'll think it's loaded with supplies and attack. You, yeah, but instead of supplies, he's going to get dynamite, right? Right. As soon as we see the Redskins coming, you light the fuse to the dynamite, uncouple the cars, and bring the engine back here. Sure, and we can put some metal shields in the engine cab to give protection from the Redskins' bullets. Come on, Lightning, we'll get that last load of dynamite. Yeah. Why do you and Johnny stay here at the engine see that nobody gets in the car? We won't be long. Oh, no, sure, Lightning. Say, Whitey. Hey, you all right here, on your neck. You think Lightning let me ride in the fire horse when you go off the wolf park? Oh, no, I don't think so. She's where there ain't no room in the cabin, and besides, that's too dangerous. You ain't not afraid of wolf, No, huh? oh, but you might get hurt. Anyway, you got to stay here and look after my dog. Hey, where is Blackie? Blackie! Hey, Blackie, come here, Blackie. Blackie, afraid of fire horse. Oh, don't worry, no, Blackie. This Indian won't hurt you, you know. Put him up there, sir. Hey, don't move. I got you covered. Get his gun, Zeke. Yeah, sure. Get oh, oh, that dog oh, out of here. I'll fix him. Blackie, Blackie. Hey, what's the idea, Blackie. mister? You don't have to kick that dog, you Shut know. Shut up. Hey, Red. Why, he's a law man. Yeah, he was with Lightning Jim. Now grab that rope over there and we'll tie up these two. Yeah, sure. So, so you was helping to load up supplies, eh, Warbadge? See, why are you aiming to tie me up? Because you won't cause no more trouble. We're going to tie up you and the kid, chuck you in the engine cab, and start up the engine. <laughs> we'll give you two a nice train ride. Yeah. <laughs> but there won't be no engineer. <laughs> uh, here's the rope, Red. All right. Come on over here, Warbadge. I'm going to tie you up good. Blackie, you get lightning. Go, oh, oh, Blackie, go! Oh. Careful, lightning. This dynamite is touchy stuff. Yeah, I know. Well, reckon that's all, Tim. Uh, sure, now let's get back to the train and put this last load in the cars. Uh. Blackie. Oh, that's queer. I wonder why he came back here. No. Tim. Listen. You hear that? I sure it is the engine. Just put it out. Yeah. They'll wreck it. And that dynamite will blow him to bits. Oh. Come on, Tim. Get your horse. Quick. Somebody's left, what's that? No. 
my horse go faster. Hey, yo, yo, I told you to read now. That's good. Yo, see, see, I think this one here must be the brig. Well, there goes. My horse dropped yo, it. Yo. Oh, boy, they must plant the coast. Look, Whitey, it's frightening Jim. Your life then. Whoa, Thunder. Whoa, boy. Yeah. Hey, careless lightning, you was almost too late. But we got loose and stopped the engine. Good for you, buddy. What happened, Whitey? Well, them two Yeagers she was fighting come up and they got the drop on us. Yeah? They tied up by me and Yanni started off the train. Well, yeah. uh, well, they was getting out of the cab and uh, one of them slipped and fell down. He, he grabbed the other fella and the two of them, they went down between the Yeagers. Bad right. men, you're funny now. Why shouldn't they have it coming? Lightning! Lightning! Andy, it's over there! Don't be me, man. Right, son. There's red skin circling back of them trees. They're still a mile away, so we got time to set the trap. Yes. Tim, you uncouple the cars from the engine. Sure he will. Come on, Whitey. We'll set the fuse to the dynamite. Sure. Johnny can go in the engine with Tim. Whitey and me will make our getaway on the horses. Let's go. Here comes the red skits lightning. All right, boys. I'm lighting the fuse to the dynamite. You're go ahead, Tim. Pull out. Jump on your horse, buddy. Easy, Thunder. Easy, boy. Come on, buddy. Let's go, Thunder. Get in, boy. Oh, Thunder. Hold it, boy. Oh. Work lightning. You get right up with the engine. Them reds give, give, give up chasing you. Today. Yeah, <laughs> they're after the supplies on them two cars. See, Indians go on train. Sure, but maybe this you sent out. Oh, I'm sure they hope it didn't. Don't believe me, this. Them redskins was blown all to pieces. Right, it was light. And thanks be to heaven for that. Yo, but see, look, there was an old kill. I uh, sure, the rest of them are running away. But I'm hoping Wolf Pa isn't among them. Wolf Pa, bad Indian. But Lightning Jim... Him plenty dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> and so ends another thrilling chapter in the life of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy Whitey Larson. Mm-hmm.